guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Karina from Day by Day K, your fitness instructor and fitness friend. In today's video, we are gonna be going through our second chakra um, in this series, which is the sacral chakra. So if you're ready for some poses and stretches, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. It's Karina from Day by Day K, your fitness instructor and fitness friend. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be going through our second chakra, which is the sacral chakra. So I'll kind of like read up for you guys again a little bit on this chakra. Uh, so the sacral chakra is basically located in your abdomen between your navel and your genitals, and it controls your creativity and sexuality. Um, for today, the colors of the chakra are yellow, red, and gold. So if you have anything that you want to kind of have around you to help with that energy, um, feel free to kind of bring it out and place it in front of you, wear it, or hang it up somewhere um, to kind of like help you to engage into these poses a little bit more. Today's affirmation is... I am happy in my body and I express my sexuality freely. So again, this is just kind of an affirmation you can um, you can repeat um, as you're doing these poses. You can kind of just kind of think about it today, write it out for yourself, and uh, yeah, that's it. So without further ado, this is a much shorter intro than last week. Let's get into our poses and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So we're going to start off this pose with your feet about th um, three feet apart. You're going to have your left foot turned out to a 90 degree angle and your right foot pointing forward. Um, you want to make sure that your hips are square to the front of the mat and um, you're um, basically in the same direction as your right leg and you're going to draw your right hip back and the left hip uh, forward a little bit. Um, you're going to bring your left hand to the inside or the outside of your right foot as you twist to the right. So you're going to be uh, basically doing this twist position, reaching down. You want to make sure that you draw your shoulder blades um, back and down. Um, the opposite hand, you're going to lift it up and you're basically just going to gaze at that hand. Um, you can also just look straight forward or if you need to, you can place that arm uh, towards your lower back if you have any sensitivities. So you're going to hold this for about five deep breaths and then you're slowly going to come back up and we're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So we're going to start the goddess pose with a wide stance. Um, so you're going to turn your toes out and your heels um, in so that your feet are about 45 degrees angles. Um, you're going to bend your knees in the same direction as your toes and you're going to lower your hips down towards the height of your knees. Um, you can use your arm, you can place your arms in different places so you can reach your arms out to shoulder height and bend your elbows so that your fingertips point to the sky or you can um, spread out your fingertips wide and activate the muscles across your back or you can even um, like I'm doing just hold a prayer position if your uh, shoulders are a little bit sensitive. You want to engage your core muscles as you're drawing your table in into the direction of the floor so you don't want to stick your bum out you actually want to kind of tuck your tailbone in and you can hold this position for about 30 seconds to one minute again taking your breaths as you need For our moonflower pose, we're basically going to have our feet similar to the goddess pose and what you're going to do is bring your arms up over the head and then as you come down into a little bit of a squat, you're going to pull your elbows into the sides of your body and you're just repeating this position. So palms are going to be facing forward, you're squatting down, keeping your tailbone in to the lower part of the body here. So for the dancer pose, you're going to shift all your weight into your right foot. You're going to bend your left knee to um, uh, as you're lifting your left foot off the floor. And you want to keep your left knee, um, you basically want to be hugging it towards the midline through throughout this pose. You're going to grasp the instep of your left foot with your left hand. 
and then with your right hand you're going to um, basically reach up to the ceiling um, you're going to hold this position you want to keep your core engaged of course you can use a strap if you need to or you can rest your foot on a on the couch or on um, any kind of surface to help you hold yourself up you can also hold the wall for a little bit of support because this is a little bit more of a challenging pose and uh, you want to just make sure that you're gazing forward you're going to hold this for about five to ten breaths and then you're going to lower your leg down and you're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side so for the pigeon pose you're going to basically take your right ankle and it'll be somewhat kind of in front of your left hip you're going to take your left leg and point your toes back and your heel is going to be pointing up to the ceiling um, you're going to basically like scissor your hips together by drawing your legs in towards each other and you want to um, make sure you're, uh, you have some sort of support for your glutes um, so that you are keeping your hips at a leveled height. Uh, you can use your hands uh, to kind of hold yourself up or a block and you're going to keep your, of course, your navel in and your chest out. As you're doing this, you can exhale on the way up and then if you prefer to lower yourself down to the floor for a little bit of a break and then take it back up, you can do this for five breaths on each side. Uh, you just wanna be um, mindful of how your knees are feeling. So adjust your leg as you need to because you should not be feeling any discomfort in your knees in this pose. So guys, thanks again for joining in for our second week of our chakra poses. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just want to let you know, feel free to work on both the chakras that we've worked on or if you, um, you know, if you're familiar with chakras and you want to work on other ones as well, feel free to add those into your um, daily stretches, daily practice in general. Um, you don't have to just focus on this one this week. Um, I found that the chakras that I was a little bit weaker in, I found it a little bit more difficult to hold some of the poses. So if you're finding that, that's okay. Remember, just do what your body is allowing you to do today. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you again. If you enjoyed the content that you're seeing here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.